Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another League of Legends video. I wanted to do a little bit of an update just to let you guys know what's going on. Two announcements. One, I have reached Platinum, so uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, platinum was kind of the goal that I set for myself a long while back when I started. I was like, hey, I want to at least try to get there. Uh, I'll still be trying to reach Diamond um, you know, as an ongoing goal, but pretty happy that I reached Platinum. Uh, get, you know, getting myself to a level where I think I belong. Um, and so a couple of reflections and just kind of comments on that is a lot of people ask me, whether it's in the video or in League of Legends client, uh, they'll ask me stuff about, you know, how do you, do you have any tips for ranking up? Or, you know, they just kind of will ask questions about stuff like that. Maybe if you're in bronze and you're kind of wondering. Well, um, so first off, the, the biggest thing that I would say is try to be as consistent as you possibly can. Uh, that's probably the best way to rank up is to just try to play extremely consistently. You know, if I, you know, one of the complaints that I hear from people is, you know, they are very annoyed with how inconsistent their teammates are. You know, sometimes you get teammates who feed or rage or troll or whatever, but, you know, the biggest thing that I would recommend is that if, so if you look at, if you, if you just accept the fact that you are going to get inconsistent teammates from game to game, sometimes they'll be really good and they'll carry you, sometimes they'll be really bad and you have to carry them, you know, that's pretty tough to, to handle on a game to game basis when you yourself are also a little bit inconsistent, you know, so the biggest thing that I would say is that, you know, because everybody is going to get the same likelihood of teammates. Everybody has the same chance of getting somebody who's going to feed or rage or troll. But if you are playing very consistently, if you can, you know, consistently do well, you, you're playing a champion or a set of champions that you're comfortable or confident on. You know, if you look at a lot of the champions that I play a lot, I have tended to favor very high... Um, you know, champions who have a very strong, consistent ability, you know, like Jinx, she's a really, you know, pretty safe laner. She's got her cannon range, she's got her W, she's got her her traps, you know, very capable of laning in just about against, against just about anything. It has very little in, in terms of really hard counters. Nidalee, again, very safe laning with all of her heals. Ziggs, I think is the definition of what I'm getting at, you know. It's almost impossible to keep a Ziggs from farming just because of how effective his bombs are. <clears throat> you know, even when the matchup goes against you, you can still probably clear the wave with an E and a couple of Qs. You know, Kale again, a very strong, safe pick. She's got sustain, she's got good damage. Caitlyn, same sort of thing. You know, I played a little bit less Vayne. You know, I played a lot, most of these games are from the beginning of the season when we had all those tanks running around. I've since played less Vayne. Um, but if you can see, a lot of my top play champions are a little more on the safe side. And not necessarily that you have to pick safe champions, but it's just my personal preference. But the key takeaway here is that I'm playing champions with which I know that I can consistently do well to the point where very rarely am I going to be totally worthless. I will always be able to make some sort of contribution in my role. So that's kind of my biggest tip is play consistently. Um, and you'll make it there. It just kind of takes time. I started playing... You know, at the very beginning of Season 3, I was in Bronze, I think. Or maybe... I think I was in Bronze. Um, <clears throat> maybe by the end of Season 3, I made it to Gold. Now we're in Season 4, and I've made it up to Platinum. You know, very kind of slowly and steadily advancing my way through the ranks. Um, there's no secret sauce. There's no magic. Just kind of playing consistently well. Now, and there are some misconceptions that I hear from a lot of you that I think are really interesting. A lot of times people will talk very longingly about, oh man, if only I could make it to Platinum, then there wouldn't be any more Ragers or Trollers. Everybody would be so much better, and I can confirm to you 100% that is false. Um, you know, this idea of ELO Hell, where you are stuck with players that you cannot carry, and, and you're, you have games where you cannot win, well, I can tell you that the exact same thing happens in Platinum. And also... I think there's even an argument that the higher you go, the potential to get somebody who feeds really badly is higher. Because if you think about this, think about in Diamond. Um, <clears throat> generally, players who make it that high, I'm going to just make a baseline assumption that they have a role that they main and are really, really good at. So let's say you are a top lane main and you make it up to Diamond. Well, let's say 
that there are two top lane mains in that game. Well, that means one of them is going to have to do something else. And if they get, you know, put into the jungle or into support or something, 80 carry maybe, and they're not very good, and they're playing against an 80 carry main, they're going to get probably crushed pretty hard because the skill gap at that position in that lane is really, really wide. Uh, because you have people who are really, really good you know, if I'm if I'm playing Jinx against a top lane main who doesn't ever play AD carry, I'm probably going to be able to do really well against them because I understand how to trade better in a 2v2 lane. I understand power spikes. I understand lane matchups. I understand playing with supports. Um, there's just a lot of things that they won't be able to take into account. So if anything, the higher you get, the more the skill disparity has a chance to widen. Whereas in bronze, I would say that even if you're not playing the role that you're that confident on, you know, a bronze level top lane going to his off role isn't going to be that big of a disparity versus a AD carry main in bronze. So a lot of, I guess, misconceptions in the fact that I think people view higher elo as like a better place, which I don't think is necessarily true. It's just that people are more mechanically skilled and they have a little bit probably better decision making but <clears throat> you know the same problems that exist in lower elo exist in higher elo and then the second announcement that I wanted to make is as many of you know I have not been posting videos over the last month and I am I guess officially on a bit of a break I just have some real life obligations that I need to prioritize right now and um, you know just to put it very simply you know making League of Legends YouTube videos um, <clears throat> It's just a lower priority. I just don't have the free time to devote to this. Um, you know, it just, it takes time, it takes attention, and, you know, especially if you want to stay up with current events and making videos takes in itself a quite a bit of time. You know, if I spend 10 or 15 minutes making this video, I'll spend another half an hour editing it and rendering it, and then I post it, and then I, you know, it's just kind of this thing that's always going on in your life in the background, and... You know, if I, yeah, I just have to prioritize my real life obligations ahead of my YouTube channel right now. So anyways, I know that some of you are probably going to be a little disappointed at that, but that's where I am. I am taking a little bit of a break. If things change, I will be sure to let you guys know and get back to hopefully a regular posting schedule. But until then, um, I that's where I'm at. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.